get in your horse and buggy and get down over here in Texas because this is the Texas Revolution, boy. Hey, all you good-looking viewers, you. Did you know that at one point in time, Texas was its own country called the Lone Star Republic? It all started with back in the name Moses, Moses Austin. In 1821, Moses was given the opportunity by Spain to start a colony in Texas. But before he could start it, he died. His son, Stephen F. Austin, followed his dreams because he also had a dream to start a colony. Meanwhile, back in the Spanish territory in Mexico, Mexican Mexicans had just revolted from Spain and gained its independence. Meanwhile, back again in Texas, Stephen was like, what? Because Mexico changed its rules and said he could live here, but he had to be a Mexican citizen and join the church, and only hardworking people can come. Austin was like, that's it? Okay. By 1827, the first American people to live in Texas were the O300. In just three years, Americans easily outnumbered the Tohitans. But not only that, they had many problems with the rules and taking orders, and they wanted slaves. Tohitans had problems with the Americans, too, so they shut down further immigration to Mexico. Austin was not happy about this. He went down all the way to Mexico City to talk to General Santa Ana about opening immigration. But instead, Austin was put in Mexican jail. Texans were outraged. They wanted to rebel. Santa Ana did not like that. He and his troops marched right up to San Antonio where only 180 volunteers were at a missionary called the Alamo. San Santa Ana got up there and raised a black flag, which meant no mercy on your soul. A good-looking man named William Travis answered with a cannon shot. Santa Ana blasted cannonballs at the Alamo for 12 days. Then he gave the order to kill everyone at the Alamo. The battle raged for 90 minutes at the Alamo, where killed people were killed but one who fled. So another good-looking man named Sam Houston made a decision to lure Santa Ana deep into Texas so he couldn't supply his troops. It worked brilliantly. What a plan from a good-looking man. Santa Ana caught up to Houston near San Jacinto River, and Santa kept his troops up all night afraid of Texans attacking. But nothing happened. Santa Ana's troop got tired and started to relax and be chill. Santa Ana got really tired and wanted to take a nap, and that's when it happened. Houston attacked, yelling, remember the Alamo, and they kicked some major butt and captured Santa Ana, but spared his life if he made all the troops leave Texas. After the war, President Polk of the United States decided to pay 15 big ones for the land, and Texas had won his freedom. They were the Lone Star Republic for 10 years, but then the president of the United States decided he wanted to annex Texas. Texas happily agreed. And that, my friends, is the story of the Texas Revolution. Yeehaw!